guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a little collective haul for you. I have an order from Peachy Cheap. Um, I just have a order, an online Amazon order, and then a little Dollar Tree haul. So let's get started. Um, I was going to wait until my other order came in because I did get two from Peachy Cheap. Um, so I thought I just got the first one in. Um, and this is one of the October afternoon collections. So I was so excited to get it. I ordered two actually. Um, let's see where to start here. Let me get organized. So this is the Under the Tree collection. And like I said, I have two of them here. So I'm just trying to separate it all. Okay. So the first thing here is the paper. Um, and if you're not familiar with October Afternoon, they're no longer in business. Um, they were really known for a lot of their vintage feel um, papers. And I really like that. Um, and I know a lot of people that are into junk journaling and um, vintage, using you know actual vintage pieces in their junk journaling are really into the Oct October Afternoon collections. So. This paper is so thick. I wish you guys could feel this. This cardstock is just, it is unbelievable how thick this is. So here we just have some muted blues and greens in a plaid that's really pretty. Uh, here's a cut apart. And that's got some really cute little sayings on it as well. Again, in the muted colors. Here's a wood green. These are just one-sided. This is a chevron in pink and red. Here's just some words, home for the holidays, all is calm, all is bright, Merry Christmas. Um, and that's just in a white and black. So we've got two of those. Also came with this ephemera pack. Again, in the muted colors and um, a lot of vintage, vintage looking pieces. So here are like some cow tag pieces, a vintage nutcracker, contents of merchandise, fourth class mail. It's a really cute piece. Property of, you know, a lot of it resembles old packaging. 15 cents, 23 cents, rush. A little vintage looking um, tag. Tiny little snow globe. Some more vintage tags, 12 cents, 25 cents. It's a cute little deer. Some reindeer. Um, a little vintage looking tag that's made out of bells. Another little uh, numeric piece, a little puppy, a rush, some adorable little kale, kale, carolers, oh, that's a hard word, um, reading out of their song book, a little vintage tag that's a stocking, another tag, this one says Cheerio, and some animals on a sled, so that's a very cute ephemera pack. Um, it also came with this little uh, sequin mix. It is just green trees and red circle sequins. We've got some rub-on transfers that say Merry Christmas, and you get uh, two sheets of those. It came with this super thin washi tape. It is in a silver. Very, very thin. Here are some, um, some trim. And this is a green felt. And it's uh, sticky on the bottom. So I think this is where the sticker is here. So just the little strip on the bottom is sticky. But here's what that looks like. There's, oh, it's so cute. It's got the trees. And then it's got Santa and the reindeer. And then it just repeats 
That's really cute. Very cute. So I've got that. Um, and the last two pieces are a set of thickers. These are uh, good tidings. It's front and back side. These are really pretty. So I've got two of those. I like how you get the um, the bows here, the Christmas trees, and the holly leaves. And then the last piece, um, I really like these. These are the Tags and Cards collection. And uh, I'm going to open this. So these look like little um, flashcards, which I absolutely adore. So there's two little boys. There's the reindeer. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have so much fun layering these. Mary. There's another deer. Oh, these are so gorgeous. Rudolph, Jingo. Then we've got some tags here. So a deer, North Pole dry goods, Merry Christmas, Tidings of Joy, Home. And this is a little flashcard that says cheer, Twinkle, Story, Jolly, and then a little flashcard there. So those are super cute. Um, all right, let me get this out of the way. This is the October afternoon collection. Like I said, I did place another order for another October afternoon collection that came out, um, but I did not receive that one yet. So I'll show you guys that when I get it. Uh, let's see what's next. Okay, next, just my Amazon order. I finally... Um, got myself a memory decks punch. I did not have this before. And guys, I literally was um, taking a scissors and cutting out the holes on the bottom. So I'm so happy to have this. I think it's going to be so much fun to create my own memory decks in a different shapes now and just be able to punch the holes in the bottom. So one of the things that I want to do in a video coming up is make my own memory decks box. I did rearrange my craft room and I don't know if you follow me or, you know, looked back to some of my earlier videos, but I was keeping my memory decks in a vintage like um, catalog card holder. And um, I decided to take that out of my craft area just because it was taking up too much room um, and I'll, I'll just use it for something else. But now I just want to take um, like one of the tutorials out there and create my own memory decks box with the dowels in it. So I'm going to do that with you guys coming up here soon. Um, okay, so then next I think it's just my Dollar Tree haul. This is kind of random, but um, some fun stuff that I thought I'd share. So they revamped this laundry sign. I think it was on a, a shirt before. It was like in the shape of a shirt, but I really like just this monochromatic black look and I think that'll look cute in my laundry room. So I just picked that up, especially for a dollar. That was super cute. These I thought were cute. I'd never seen these before and um, I thought this would be great to kind of do a um, makeover on. So it's got this little file tag holder on it. And then this life is meant to be lived. It's really off centered, but that's like stamped or painted inside. Um, but this is open. So, you know, you could take one of these cards. Let me see if I can find one and see if it'll fit in there. It was just a little bit too big, but you get the gist. So that's gonna go in there. You know, you could cut it down and it would be a cute little um, holder that you could change out seasonally with little, you know, pictures or phrases. But I thought that was cute. Um, yeah, you could paint the sides. You could paint the front if you wanted to. You could paint this. But um, yeah, I think it would be adorable even if I just cut down one of these little, one of these little cards and, you know, that could just fit right in there. So cute. Um, I might actually go back and get a few more of those. Um, I just picked up a headband. Nothing special there. Um, I got uh, some planner stickers and I didn't pick these up for myself. I picked them up for a friend of mine who lives in um, the UK and they don't have a Dollar Tree and she was interested in planner stickers. So now when I see these, I'm just going to grab them for her so I can send them over to her after Christmas because I think post is really slow right now. 
Um, these are a new color. I don't remember seeing these before, and I actually picked these up when I had them in the primary colors, but these are like pastels. Very pretty. Um, I thought they were perfect with spring coming up. Not coming up, but you know, the next season after winter. Um, but even the pinks in this aqua and this green would go with a lot of the Christmas collection that I have. Uh, not so much the purple, but I think I can use the other ones for um, for Christmas for sure. So those I think were cute. They're, you know, little, little pop stickers. They're um, puffy. Uh, they, they do have these in two different sizes. I got the smaller size. Um, I got some of this red cray paper because I want to make some of the cray paper trims that I've been seeing. Um, so, you know, you take the cray paper and it is just gathered like this and you run it through your sewing machine. Oops, I'm not in frame there, sorry. Um, you gather that like that. And then you take your thickers, which I have these adorable thickers that I got. I got them somewhere. They were either at a rummage sale or at a resale shop, so they're only a dollar. Um, but these are the candy cane looking ones. So I thought I could spell out words like Mary or Santa on the cray paper. And then you just run it through your sewing machine. Um, so I'm gonna be making those, I think. So I wanted to pick up the red because I don't have red cray paper. Um, okay, the last things that I got here are pens and markers. I was really curious about these felt tip pens. They're called pens, so it leads me to believe that they're a thinner, a thinner tip, and I like a really fine tip um, when I write. But they had these six different colors. So they have two shades of blue, a purple, green, a pink, and a red. And they're Crayola. So I, I saw someone else call these and I was surprised to find them at my Dollar Tree because we usually don't have the latest and greatest things there. Um, but let's take these out and take a look at what they look like. So this is what they look like. Oh, that is a nice fine tip. So how does that write? Um, ooh, I like that oh I like that a lot so can you see how fine that tip is and it's really um it's really firm too so it doesn't bend oh that was a good deal I'm glad I got those so those are fun um the other thing I picked up were these um extremely sm or extreme smooth gel pens and they came in eight different colors uh four in each pack so there's this pack that has green brown yellow and orange and this one that has a lime green, a purple, a blue, and a pink. So I wanted to also open these up and see how these write. Oh, and that's got a nice fine tip as well. Oh, where am I? There I am. So I think I'm gonna like that. Um, paper here. There we go. Oh, I do. I like that. I'm, you know, using the grossest piece of paper I can find. I just don't have a nice, a nice piece of paper here to write on. Um, yeah, so that is, where am I? There, sorry. So that is the tip on there. So I like those. Um, I love pens to begin with. I love all gel pens. I love colored pens. They are totally my thing. So, um, I'm glad that these worked out. Um, you know, sometimes I think that it's hit or miss at Dollar Tree when you get pens and uh, markers and things. So I was very happy with these purchases. And uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.